Well, good morning. It's Tuesday morning. What a great week. Amen. Yeah. This is a great week. Praise God. You know, uh, our, our, uh, the, the title of our devotion today is, I reap life when I sow to the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I like reaping life, you know. I do too. Amen. I like sowing to the Spirit. Yeah, I do too. I love sowing, you know. You know, um, you, you, when you tell people, uh, like we were having a special guest speaker, and, and you know, you and I pray over it, and we were believing God for something, you know, and it's, it's needed when you sow, and then you see that come oh, to yeah. pass. Yeah, oh, it was so, a great time. It's so blessed, anyway. yes, Amen. about that, and to see God uh, manifest himself that way. Hey, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8 says, make no mistake about it, God will never be mocked Amen. for what you plant you will always will always be the very thing you harvest. The harvest you reap reveals the seeds you planted. If you plant the corrupt seeds of self-life into this natural realm, you can expect to experience a harvest of corruption. If you plant good seeds of spirit life, you will reap the beautiful fruits that grow from the everlasting life of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's a great it's translation. What translation said? is that, Marsha? Is that I, the Passion? I think that's. I think it is. Yes, yeah, the Passion translation. Yes, very good. I think it was. Yeah. So what we what we sow is what we're going to reap. Yeah. So if we sow to the Spirit, we're going to reap spiritual things. I mean, the things God has for us. You know, the other day we were talking about principles in God's Word, and if you go back. We want to look at Luke six thirty eight. You know, given it shall be given, good measure, present. Sure. We we think okay, that's the beginning. No, that's not the beginning of it. You have to go actually go back to Genesis chapter one and to verse eleven and twelve when God created the earth. He said, uh, he said, I planted the seeds, they yield the harvest, and those seeds then will yield that same harvest again. Yeah. And then but it, it multiplies. It, Think about it. Yes, it multiplies. The seeds come back more. And that and then in Genesis eight, after the world has been flooded, you know, this is amazing to me. Doesn't say that Noah took one tree or one plant on the ark, right? No, he didn't. You know, the animals were the ones that were affected by the curse, okay? Mm -hmm. Human beings and, and the animals. And so it says in Genesis chapter 8, we have seed time and harvest. It will always be uh, one principle always in this world until Jesus comes again is seed time and harvest. Seed time and harvest. Mm -hmm. What you plant is what you're going to sow, and you're not going no, to sow it in what, uh, what, uh, what you reap. And you're never going to reap equal measure of what you've no, sown. You always have more. Always more. And that works in the right side and the wrong side of that That's equation, right. Marshall. That's right. So, whatever you plant is what you're going to reap. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, that was a principle I taught to my kids when I taught school, even because I wanted them to understand the way you treat a human being is what you're going to get back. Yes. And it is true. If you, yep. if you treat someone with respect, you'll get respect back. If you treat someone with anger, you're probably going to get anger back. That's just, that's yeah. the way it works. Yeah. Like produces like. That's right. It, you that's know, right. and we always used to say, if you want to have a friend, be a friend that's to somebody, right. you know, right. and that's a that's a great principle in life. You know, don't go to church and just find your seat and sit down. <laughs> you know, go meet some people. Go share the hey, I'm so and so. I don't think I know your name. You know, mm -hmm. go get to know. I'm amazed how many people come to church and don't know the people on the other side of the aisle. That's right. And and that doesn't have to be Sometimes people go to big churches so they don't have to meet anybody. That shouldn't be the truth. No. If you're going to a large church, get to know get the people to, around yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Nothing else. Absolutely. But uh, there's no excuse for us not to get to Or people, I'll hear people say that, boy, that's just not a friendly church. You know, went there, nobody, uh, you know, was friendly. And I wonder, were you friendly? Yeah. You know, because really... Like begets like, That's or like right. produces like. That's right. You know, I find a lot of times at the store, I, I, I just strike up conversation. And <laughs> I know, we embarrass Ray the people. I know, but, but you know, you just love to do that. And, and, you know, those people would not talk to you if you didn't talk to them That's first. That's right. In fact, know? some of them are kind yeah. of shocked when you Yeah, do. when you do talk to them. I was talking to, to one girl the other day in Walmart, <laughs> and she, she kind of was a, ha-ha. Huh? Huh? And then she started talking back <laughs> yeah. to me. Because I don't think she's used to anybody ever noticing her. Amen. Some That's people right. don't ever feel like they're even noticed. You know, I know what we're sharing this, but, you know, we need to be sensitive to the people around us. 
Because not so that we can get back, but just so we can be a minister for the gospel. Catch yeah. their name. Yeah. Ask their name. If you don't that know their will, name, ask well, their name. That might freak somebody out. No, you just, know, I don't think so. Just the first name. Just and then, the first name. Yeah, that's what I mean, just first name. And then say their name. Yeah. You know, people like to hear their name said. Amen. Here's a confession today, okay? I determine in my heart to listen to my spirit. I determine in my heart to listen to my spirit. And to sow seeds of the spirit. And to sow seeds of the spirit. To those whom I meet. To those that I meet. For a great harvest for Jesus. For a great harvest for Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Have a blessed day.